Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of hooded eyeshadow tutorials on my channel that are simple, informative, and achievable no matter what level of makeup you're at. But today we are walking you through the works. So I'm taking you through my primer to my setting spray for spring makeup. So when it comes to spring and summer and the warmer months, I change things up a bit. Now there's a lot of things I still use that are the same, but I like to focus on different things like longevity of my makeup and protecting my skin from the sun. I am totally anti-sun. I want to stay as youthful looking as possible and protect my skin. So. I'm gonna take you through all of those products and I'm also gonna take you through the eyes. So I am using a palette that Alter Ego sent me. I'm not partnering with them. They're not paying me to say this. They didn't tell me I had to say anything. I am just really loving this palette. This is the Temptress palette. This is $16 and it is absolutely beautiful. So we're really just using these two <laughs> shades right here and uh, shimmer down here and the look is stunning and it is perfect for spring. So if you are interested in seeing that, go ahead and keep watching. All right, so to start out, I've already primed my face with the Dermablend Instagrip Jelly Primer. There's a ton of jelly gripping primers out there right now, but I am really liking this one. It truly makes my makeup last all day. And in the summer, I'm outside all the time with the dog and I'm getting really sweaty. So I need something that's not gonna let my makeup just fall off my face and that works really, really well. I highly recommend it. And like I said, there's a ton on the market right now. So check out a gripping primer for the summer. It's awesome. And I'm also gonna be going in with my Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. I love this year round to be honest, but I really like it in the summer because it's lightweight. You can build it up to pretty much full coverage and it's SPF 20, which is super important in the summer. Protect your skin. You should also be using an SPF with your skincare routine, but this just provides extra coverage. So you can also, you know, if you're going out at night and you, you're following this tutorial, you can go in with something else, but I just really like this foundation. It still looks like skin. I feel like I'm a broken record because I talk about this so much. It's still skin-like, but it provides the coverage you need. And like I said, you can really build it up. So I'm just gonna quickly blend that out with my Beauty Blender. I'm not gonna go too heavy with coverage. I'm just gonna do one beautiful layer. Okay, so that is one layer of the foundation. It's beautiful, it looks like skin, it's hydrating, it's lightweight, and it protects the skin. It checks all the boxes, especially for summer. So I'm gonna go in with concealer now, and I really go light with concealer year round for the most part unless I'm doing like a really glam look but I'm really just gonna lightly target the areas that need a little bit of help so mostly right here I'm not going in heavy because the heavier you go with your foundations and your concealers in the summer the more cakey it ends up looking and the more likely it's gonna end up kind of sliding off so I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I'm going to just dot that in the areas that I need it so I'm talking right here in this area where I'm red and a little bit right here because I have allergies right now and I'm really red and kind of raw around there. And then wherever else you might need it, I'm gonna take just a dot here because I tend to get red there as well. And that is really it for concealer. Like I said, I don't go too heavy, I just threw my beauty blender. And I'm gonna start blending here. And I really prefer to use a sponge, especially at this time of year, because I don't want any excess product on my skin that's not needed. So I'm just going to blend these out. I really enjoy the Too Faced concealer as well because it's full coverage, but also lightweight and it's also really hydrating. So if you have creasy dry under eyes like I do, that stuff works really, really well. George is drinking some water if you can hear that. But now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes. I don't do this all the time, especially in the winter, but I am gonna do it in the summer because things, like I said, tend to slide. So I'm just gonna target. So I'm basically gonna go under my eyes, on my chin, and right around this area because that's where my foundation starts to fade when I sweat. So I am using my Laura Mercier setting powder. I recently brought this out again and I'm actually liking it a lot. So I'm just gonna make sure everything is blended out and then I'm gonna go ahead and set. You definitely wanna make sure you have zero creasing before you do this, otherwise you're gonna set those creases in and it won't be cute. So I'm not gonna bake or anything like that. I'm really just gonna go in and set minimally 
and then I'll make sure to wipe away any of the excess. Like I said, I have allergies right now, so my outer corners are definitely gonna kind of fade and the makeup's gonna come off, but that's just part of dealing with allergies. All right, since it is spring, we can go ahead and go a little bit heavier with bronzer. So I'm gonna use a mixture of my Physicians Formula Bronzer in Bronzer and my Maybelline City Bronzer in 200. I just mix them both with this Japanese brush and I'm gonna bronze my face. I really like these because they last all day on me. And again, very pigmented, both of them, so I don't have to go too heavy. The key here is keeping things really light and fresh but getting the coverage you need. The face looks so much better with bronzer on. It's crazy. I love when I put foundation on, when I bring life back into the face with bronzer and blush. So let's go ahead and jump into the blush. I'm using the ColourPop Count Me In Super Shock Cheek. This is stunning and lasts all day. Like I said, when I did that ColourPop video, I'm ordering like all of these because I love them so much. Again, super lightweight, super pigmented, and it lasts all day. So again, taking a Japanese brush, I'm just gonna hit the apples of my cheeks. I'm not gonna go too heavy here because in the spring, I tend to get a little bit warmer and I get a little more flush, so I don't need as much uh, blush, I was about to say bronzer, because naturally I'm gonna get a little more red. So I'm really just gonna kind of focus on the apples of the cheeks. Oh gosh, it's just so pretty. All right, and we're gonna jump right into highlight. I have been loving this Ofra Nikki Tutorials trio, especially this color right here. Such a beautiful color. So I'm just gonna minimally highlight. This packs a punch. So again, I'm not layering up and adding too much product. All I need is a quick dip and I get full highlight like beautiful now if you are on the more oily side I would totally skip this step I am not oily or dry I'm dry under my eyes but I don't naturally really shine throughout the day so I can add a little bit of highlight like this but if you're naturally kind of oily I would totally skip out on this step all right so let's go ahead and hit the brows I keep it so minimal in spring and summer for my brows I've been loving soap brows and that's all I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of setting spray right onto my soap. I'm gonna take my Anastasia number 12 brush and run the spoolie part in there. And all I'm really gonna do is set my brows up. It takes like no time and I love how this looks. So all I'm gonna do is push them up. So even if I sweat, I know these brows are not gonna move. That's the joy of these soap brows. It is so good. I can't believe I just jumped on this train. So I am just gonna take a little bit of my Anastasia brow powder and I'm gonna add a tiny little bit to the tail here where I need a little help. And that is seriously it. it takes like two seconds I love that brow routine even when it's not spring I've been really liking that brow routine so let's go ahead and do the eyes so I've scooted myself in a little bit so you guys could see and I am quickly just gonna run some morphe continuous setting mist all over this isn't to set my face this is just to, to just take away any of the powderiness like from the bronzer you guys know we didn't go in with a lot of powders, but I like to do this as a mid-step, so it just kind of melts everything together. So I'm going to be a little bit glowy, but it's going to dry down. And we're going to go ahead and start with the eyes. So this couldn't be simpler, but it really does pack a punch. I am starting to get a watery eye, so disregard that. But I'm going to start with Lust here, and I'm going to take that shade and just put it all over the lid from literally the base into the crease, and then we'll go in with the pink shade next to it called Blush. So I'm taking my Wet n Wild P20, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that to both eyes. And then just taking a Smith 232, which has nothing on it, I'm gonna blend those edges a little bit more so it's really nice and seamless. And then with a ColourPop E10, taking that same shade, working it under the eyes as well. All right, camera cut me off awesome but basically I just took the pink shade in the palette I'm not sure where it cut off so I'm taking blush and I'm working that basically into the outer V and into the crease so I'll show you on this eye here all I'm doing is 
going right here. And if you hear that noise, it's Theo, my cat. He's sitting right in front of me. I'll move him in a second here. But all I'm doing is working that on the outer corner. And then right into the crease. So we basically just laid that brown shade down as a transition. I think it just looks a little bit nicer. We're going to basically put a glitter on that part. Can you guys see how much my outer corner is watering right now from allergies? It's so bad. So just ignore that, please. <laughs> I'm taking that pink blush shade as well, working that under the eye. All right, so we've got something like that. So now I'm gonna take this beautiful color. It's a pink reflective color called Champagne right here. It is so pretty. I love this formula. It's so soft and buttery and super reflective. Like, look at that. And just stunning on the eyes. So I'm just going to work that onto the area that I haven't really hit with any of the pink shadow. I'm going to take that right up against the blush shade. And we'll blend it out again. Basically right into the crease area like that. And then taking that Smith 230, I'm not adding anything yet. I'm just going to take what's left. And it literally takes like no time. Now I'm going to dip into blush again and just add a touch to the outer corner. All right, so I know my outer corner is still watering, but isn't that beautiful? We've only gone in with three shadows, and I think that is a stunning look. So I'm going to take a little bit of the dark brown in the palette. This is called After Hours, and I'm just going to take that on a MAC 208, and I'm going to run that along the lower lash line, and then I'm going to kind of pop it right here so I get kind of like a brown smoky liner. That looks so pretty and it's really just three eyeshadows like I said I mean if we count the liner four but light fresh packs a punch beautiful so I'm gonna pop off here and apply some of my essence lash princess I might try to fix that a little bit more with the concealer again and I might throw some light lashes on I'm gonna think about it but I will be back here we will finish up the lips and I will show you what I use to set to make sure this doesn't move all day so I will see you in one second all right, you guys, mascara is on. This looks so pretty. I did fix this eye a little bit as well. It's feeling a little bit better. So I'm just going to take that highlight once again, and I'm going to highlight the inner corner. This really packs a punch, so be easy if this is what you're using. See how much it, like, really adds light to the inner corner? You guys hear George snoring? He's laying in the cat tree snoring away right now it's late I, like i said before i don't usually film this late so he is tired so let's go ahead and throw a lip on like i said in the summer it's all about comfort for me i do not want to be wearing a matte lipstick in the summer i it's all about gloss lightweight hydration so flower beauty lip masks are perfect for this this is in the shade smooch so it's a little more pigmented than I think the other one is called Nectar. I really like that one as well, but this is a little more corally and it's just really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. My camera shut off. Even my camera is like, Brittany, it is too late. Shut it down, but the lips are finished and I obviously didn't put uh, any lashes on. I think you guys could obviously tell that when I came back, but this is the completed look. So all we have left to do is set. I'm using the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray in Bridal. This is my favorite setting spray in the world. It seriously makes your makeup last all day. I am gonna cover my eyes because I don't think my mascara is quite dried down yet. And then I'm just gonna fan myself off. All right, so setting spray is dried down, so I'm just gonna take a mirror and make sure there's nothing I need to add here, and honestly, I don't think I need to. I am so happy with how this looks. It's stunning, it's comfortable, it's lightweight, it lasts all day, and it is 
perfect for spring. The SPF in that foundation is beautiful. I just, I love that foundation, you guys. It's so good. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you guys have any questions, as always, please let me know below. I try to read and respond to every single one of your questions. I do get a little busy during the week with my normal nine to five, but on the weekends, I'm usually on there reading and responding. If you want to see any more videos from me, please subscribe. I post every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central and every Sunday at 12 noon Central. Otherwise, thank you for spending time with me. It means the absolute world to me, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.